Got this question from our friend who calls himself DKDK. He's a young dude who wants to be a basketball player. So he does what any young man with ambition and a goal would do. He gets up every single morning, very early, practices his skill. He gets out there and dribbles the ball before school. He's in a fasted state. He's committed, he's disciplined, he's hardworking. He put in all the effort that's associated with what it would typically take to reach success, except he fails. He doesn't make the basketball team and it's not the first time. He can't figure it out what's going on here. What's keeping me from reaching my goal although I put everything that I have into it? Am I just doomed to failure for the rest of my life? And he's falling into the depths of depression because of these circumstances, because of this experience. One of the things you gotta understand, my friend, is that you're supposed to fail. You're supposed to fucking fail because failure is the stepping stone to success. It's not just cliche. You know, that sounds fucking nice. You put it in a Hallmark card, right? You see a nice little meme on Facebook that says that, right? We picture Valley Health right next to it. Make that meme. Failure is a stepping stone to success. Fuck that poetic shit. You need the logical reason why. Because failure is an experience that lends to wisdom that ultimately makes you a stronger version of yourself. Right? Right now you want to play basketball. Well, it's not in the cards for you, but you know what you discovered? How to be committed, how to be disciplined, how to deny the self so that you can move forward in the direction of your dreams. You've won in that regard. The failure is just a signpost that you're going in the wrong direction. Do you understand? Another one of these cliches or cliche stories is about Thomas Edison, right? When a reporter asked him, you know, what is it, how, how did you feel about failing a thousand times? And he said, no, I didn't fail a thousand times. I just found a, th a thousand different ways that it wasn't gonna work. And that's what's, well, that's what's happening with you. But every time he found a way that didn't work, he was adding to his journey. He was growing stronger. He learned something. He discovered something. You were discovering something about yourself and you're exercising your character every time you get up and try something. Move in the direction of something, even if you don't get the fucking thing. It's not about the thing. It's not about making the basketball team. It's not about making a million dollars. And it's not about the light bulb. It's about what you learn along the way who you become along the way. It's that fucking journey and you're on the journey and guess what, the journey's hard. The journey is riddled with failure and that's why most people don't do it. Most people aren't willing to get on that journey because they're afraid to fail. You, my friend, have failed. Congratulations. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to you because it shows that you're alive, it shows that you did something and it shows that you're growing stronger. Now go and fucking fail again, bro. I, ho I hope you guys that watch these videos, I hope you're going to fail a thousand fucking times. Keep going in, out there and failing. You know what that means? Every time you fail, it means to me. It tells me that you're doing something. Go out there and fucking fail. It's the greatest joy in life because it says so much about your character and it adds so much to who you're becoming. But we live in a culture, in a day and age, where everybody wants something for nothing, right? They see Michael Jordan on the end, they, and, they, and they see all his money, right? And I use him as an example because I'm reading a book where he's mentioned, right? LeBron James, perhaps. They see him at the end. They see all the successes at the end. They see Steve Jobs, right? They see all the great things that happen to people. You, you might watch this. In fact, you know what you, you know what he said to me, right? Because now I'm starting. To, I'm talking to the audience now, J.K. You know what this dude said to me? He said, Elliot, you've always been a success. At the end of his email. Ha! Elliot, you've always been a success. Can you help me out? No, motherfucker, I have not always been a success. I have so many failures that it would make you crawl under a table and want to fucking die. I felt as if, dude, I, I didn't even want to go there. I am a failure in and of itself. Just me, who I am, the way I look. How do you fail from fucking birth? Right? I didn't fit in. I walked, I walked into school the first time and it was like, okay, I don't fit in. I failed at that. I didn't even have a fucking hand in that. I came out a fucking failure. But I learned something from each one of those fucking failures, dude. That's why I am who I am today. 
Label it as you wish, call it what you want. You might see it as a success, but me, I'm still failing. I've got four children. Every day I fail at being a better dad. There's always more that I could do. And I embrace that. Because every time I feel failure, it means that I'm doing something. And then I'm growing in a particular way. And I look at the failure and I say, how can I improve or am I moving in the wrong direction? Signposts. So that's it, dude. Get used to it. You're young. Get used to it. No, don't just accept it, but embrace it. It is the law of nature. It is the way it is. It's not harsh, right? Because it, it could sound like, you know, life is hard. No, life is not fucking hard. There are laws to life, and that's one of the fucking laws, that you're going to scrape your knees. So you're going to fall down. You're going to fail. You're going to fuck yourself up. It's just the way it is. Love it for what it is, because if you didn't fail, you would never be able to appreciate success. Done.